Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Building Theed. Let's go ahead and get into what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. Okay, so I just received a package from H2 Brick or Noah. So let's go ahead and open this. So as we see, you can already see the money shot there. Okay. Okay, so my camera actually ran out of battery. Actually, in really good timing. So, to my tripod just behind the scenes, I guess. But let's go ahead and get into the parts. So, I'm pretty sure we got a hundred of each of these. But we got a hundred of the uh, light blue gray, kind of a modified brick with the brick on the side. Same with these. And then we got a bunch of these masonry bricks. And then he did say he was throwing in a uh, surprise, and I actually forgot about this. I didn't know what it was, but this little fabric. It's really cool, actually. I'll actually try to put this in the mock, so that that'll be fun to um, decide where to put that in here. Make sure y'all go subscribe to uh, Noah H2 Brick. That's his YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description and up in the cards. And make sure you go follow his Instagram, H2 Brick, as well. Also got a sick business card. Looks like mine as well. So after I received all these parts in from Noah a week ago, I kind of took it easy throughout the week and did a little bit of building testing and I finally got a good design on what I wanted to do. So I've kind of made this area over here designated for part storage. As we, uh, as we see, we got uh, this big bin full of parts, uh, slopes, orange, these plates. In here, just more stuff to uh, store and just more parts in here. You can kind of see like, um, uh, like the dark flesh, I think color. Just some more stuff. Uh, I'll probably get into that later. Okay, so as y'all see, I have been organizing with your Lego, and this bucket was about half full, and there's a little bit left of stuff that I might not use. And I organized the heck out of this. Um, as you see, a ton of bricks, uh, kind of goes in organized into like these type of bricks with the uh, holes in them. The bricks on the side, uh, slopes, plates back there, um, sm uh, the thing over here is just kind of small bits, and then this still has to be organized, and there's some yellow pieces that were in there. I did do a little outline of the, um, how I want to do the buildings, it's going to like this, the doorway, and then for over here there's going to be that little stairwell, and um, I'll, I'll get onto it once I have that base plate over here with the, uh, the bricks on it. I did layer more bricks, forgot to say that as well. I did that, I did this whole entire base plate, it looks really nice. And then I got, um, still got some more in here to take care of for this base plate and I think I might actually run out so I'll have to use just some other random bricks for the uh, ground. So what I've done is I've flipped the table around so that I can build over here by a wall and watch the Beyond the Brick, kind of like Brick Fair Virginia, like Torrance, to get something while I build. So, what I've done is, so if you're looking at the mock, you got this building that's going to be right here, and then this building, and I decided, I kind of thought about it um, while I was in school, about putting like a little alleyway, and then, so that's just kind of like the alleyway that I'm going to have, but basically it needs to be a building, so I, I want to I wanna make this one one of the fancier ones, maybe maybe this one, one of the more rundown type of uh, ordeal. So right here, I got um, no, that's not complete, but this is what I have so far. I really like it here. So it didn't focus. So as you see, uh, it's a little different just because I don't have this right there, but I think it turned out pretty well. I did uh, have been using some of the parts that. Noah got me in Germany so and I do love the uh, I'm breaking it but the curved type of um, arches I really like those I'm gonna use a lot of most of the probably all the little doorways are gonna have this type of um, uh, doorway with the okay guys so for this episode I do want to take a look at what I've been doing so as you see this whole part wasn't really here uh, from last week but let's actually get on to what what was here last week. So I kind of uh, upped it a little bit. There was like a roof here. I took that down. 
wanted to start new. I did add a little bit more detail. I kind of don't really like it. Uh, um, let me know down, down below uh, maybe how you like it. I am going to be, of course, improving this head. I do like the groundwork I've done. And that's going to kind of continue for the whole entire mock. And over here, let's actually get on to what I have been doing the past couple days. So, I decided I want to have a uh, little alleyway. I'll kind of have some cool scenes up there. I do, when the buildings are built, I do want to have like a little um, kind of rope walkway. Uh, maybe have like Spider-Man or something on there. Maybe um, Darth Vader fighting, you know, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi or Cena. Some maybe iconic scene I'll put up there. But as you see, this is pretty detailed. Some of the stuff isn't finished and there's a lot of um, the studs right there. Uh, I need to put maybe some of those circles, the little circle tiles on there. I did this, this really cool design right here. I really like that. And you know, just a lot of small stuff, you know, totally not finished. But I think I have to start with the uh, kind of curved kind of. Now, of course, Brick Fair Alabama is about four months away. So I do need to kind of finish up on this uh, mock, getting more parts in. So be expecting some more updates on my Instagram uh, at BrickLogic. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you slap a like on this video. Make sure you comment. Let me know some maybe ideas or, you know, say, hey, I like the videos. Make sure you do that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I am going to be doing a giveaway soon, and that will be about it, guys. Have a great day.